Welcome to our tutorial with SAR logs on your Android device on how to fill out the water HRD log. We're going to assume you've already created your account. Uh, make sure you have an app on your device, whether it's your phone or your tablet, uh, either Android Acrobat or something that reads a PDF format because that's what we save your logs in and that's uh, we figured that was the most universal way to do it. So we're going to open up SAR logs here. Tap on your SAR logs icon. There's a splash screen of my search and rescue dog Aries. Okay, we're going to go ahead and assume you've already filled this out, but if you haven't, you just put in your email and create some password that you want. Tap create account. Once you do that in the bottom here, you'll see there's login, home, logs, view logs, and more. So right now we're going to go to logs. We want to fill out the water HRD log. So just tap the water HRD log. It's going to pop open there. We're going to go ahead and fill this out. Uh, you can either use your finger to tap in here to open up the field. If you want, it will bring up your little keyboard to type in. Or you can use your wand, you know, whatever you like to do. If you'll notice, also in the right-hand corner of, of these, there's these little triangles. Well, what those are is I've pre-filled out the log before, and I wanted to make it simple for you. So if you keep using the same handler, which you will, and your same dog, um, you'll have pick lists in there that you get to use. So all you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and touch those. Or if you start filling in the first letter, it will automatically pop up for you. So that way you don't have to type the whole thing in each time and I'm just trying to make it as easy as possible for you. So I'll just put that in and um, we'll fill this fill this out for you so you can just kind of see what it looks like. Um, go ahead and on my Android device, on my keyboard, I have the little green arrow which will take me to the next field. You can either tap with your wand, your finger, or just hit that and it'll go to the next field for you. Uh, so location, whatever it was at, uh, we'll just say it was at Ledger's Pond. Okay. Now weather, we're down to weather, and anytime you see the gray add new button there below some heading, always tap that. It takes you to the next page, and weather's got its own page here. So what kind of weather did we have? Well, I put some choices in here for you, but you can do your own if you want. You can either pick any of these just by tapping on them, like thus, and then hit OK, and it'll pop right in there. Or if you noticed at the bottom, in the middle there, there's add your own choice. So whichever you'd like to do. Uh, text field for what the, the wind was blowing. I've already filled this out before. And a lot of times when you're training in the same ponds and stuff, your winds are a lot of times the same direction. So you can fill this out with a quick tap, or you can go ahead and type it out each time if it is the same. Temperature, we'll just say it was warm, 77. <laughs> okay. So when you're done with this, go ahead and look up and hit Save. Okay. We'll go down to source used. Um, I use placenta or divers <coughs> in my training. So we're just going to say we use divers today, but you can also enter a new option if you want. And what type was it? Um, if you have a new dog, you need to know where the scent is located or the divers are at. So you just put a check in the known. A uh, single blind would be if somebody went out in the boat and, and placed the diver for you and you didn't see where it was at and then you both went out in the boat together and one of you knew where it was at and you running the dog didn't, that would be a single blind. A double blind would be a third teammate takes the diver out, drops him off, and you don't know where he's at in the lake. So you and a new person get in the boat and it's just the two of you and you work your search pattern, that would be a double blind. So we're just going to say double blind. We'll put just touch it, put a check in it. What kind of water body do you have? Well, we filled out a pond, so we're going to say we're in some pond, but there's all kinds of choices, or you can enter a new option in here if you want. Canine handler grade. Tap that. This is just to see how you're doing. You can fill it out, or you can have a teammate fill it out for you. 
it's a, just a simple it's just a simple grading scale just kind of let you know how you and your dog are doing I'm gonna put good in here and you can read the questions on your own time if you want okay and comment section if you get if you do it like there's an NI in there that needs improvement and like say there's some problem like your dog's scared of the divers or something this is comment section is great because you can type in there for your needs improvement plan on how you're going to fix that and then the next training you'll show that you overcame the problem you had and it's a great thing to have in your logs so that's why we put the comment section here we're just going to say great job just for sake of argument here okay the next things we put in here are really nice for you we put photo and video in here for you so if you tap photo you can either take a live photo or choose from your library if you want to take photos of your teammates and have it included in your log or the other dogs or your dog does something spectacular or you have a friend behind you in the boat and you want them to get a picture of your dog taking the toy from the diver you know whatever we wanted it to make it as easy as possible for everybody and to make it a great sharing uh, deal so you do that and it will lay that picture directly into your log and it'll be saved as a part of your log from now on uh, if you do video I can't tap on video because if I tap on video right now it will end this training session uh, what it will do is it just pops up and asks if it can use your camera for video and it does audio and video just regular video like you're recording um, it does a 60 second video we we put it at 60 seconds just because there's a limited amount of space and then also if you get these long videos like 10 minutes they're so huge you know, could really slow down your device and we didn't want to cause anybody any issues so uh, once you tap video if you want to it'll run for 60 seconds you save it and then it's going to be laid into your permanent log and you can access that video at any time from your uh, device or if you go into your view logs you should be able to pull it up and view it if you want so at the very top here we're done with this page so we're gonna go ahead and hit the save gray button and moving on down we've hit date and time tap the date and time field you can fill this in with today's date that you did your training or if you did it a week ago you can fill it in and it hit done and it works out pretty good and then your time pops right up so whatever time you did your training and then handler signature we're gonna go ahead and type you can just put your signature in with your finger or your stylus whatever you want hit done and it's looking good now we're gonna go ahead and tap the submit button what the submit button does is it's gonna save into the cloud so it'll save your log into the cloud and it's also going to send an email to you right now of the log you just did and it will also pull up the log for your review so it's a really nice really nice feature here it tells you it's uploading your files and everything shows it saved for you here and then it will pop up and ask what you want to do with it I have a couple different things that read PDF on here I can automatically print it or do Adobe I'm just going to say do Adobe here so we can show you what the log looks like. And there's your log that you just did. So it goes along and shows you what's going on. Take a look there. Okay, now let's say a week down the road the Sheriff's Department needs your training logs for some reason. You know, so your whole team or your master trainer or whoever's in charge needs your training logs for something. Well, and you've lost them and the dog ate it your hard copy or whatever real simple you go to view logs at the bottom there it looks like a little spyglass tap that and you look at this and what log did you fill out well you filled out the water log so you tap the water log and there's your water log and the date and time you filled it out real simple you just tap on it now in here we give you a, a some great options you can view it just like you did with Adobe Acrobat and then print it if you want to from Adobe Acrobat or if you go to share you can go ahead and it pulls up these little options for you you can share if you have the same printer that the sheriff's office does and your wirelessly device is hooked into it you can print them a hard copy right now you can print a hard copy from your home you can send them an email or you can send it Bluetooth you know wirelessly to another device if you want so uh, it works great and uh, we tried to make it as inclusive as possible 
thanks for your time. And if there's anything we can do for you, just go ahead and send us an email to ariesk-9.com. And any suggestions on questions you want, we'll be glad to implement them. Thank you.